talking football, but the weather still definitely says summertime with plenty of heat and humidity in store again today. Starting off the morning, though, with some locally dense fog. It's not everywhere. Well, let's take a look at some weather bug cameras and see what we can see. And visibilities look pretty good here from Macon County. Westside Elementary School on the Macon Sumner County line. Yeah, no visibility issues to any great extent there. However, <laughs> Westwood Elementary School in Manchester, that water tower we usually look at, you can't even see it. So visibility is down to less than a quarter mile there in Coffee County. Visibility is around a half mile here in Smith County, around Carthage. That fog hang out just above the tops of the buildings downtown there in Smith County. As we look towards Metro Nashville, well, no visibility issues from this perspective, looking from south to north. There's a different weather bug camera. I'll show you again coming up in a few minutes. It looks from west to east, and that's really fogged in. So there is some patchy fog even around Metro Nashville this morning. That could slow you down a little bit on your way out the door to work. No showers or thunderstorms this morning around the mid-state. We do have some showers down around Birmingham, but those are moving away from us. These thunderstorms in southern Illinois are on a kind of a west to east path. They're going to avoid us to the north, but we do expect more scattered storms to develop pretty much overhead as we head through the late morning and afternoon hours. Temperatures right now are mostly in the low 70s, between 70 and 73 in almost every location around the mid-state. A couple spots in the upper 60s in Cookville and in Livingston right now, but most of these temperatures are slightly above normal for this time of year. Slightly cooler than yesterday, but that's not saying a whole lot. Let's check out future cast and it starts to produce those spotty showers and thunderstorms already by late morning. We'll freeze the maps here at noon and you see scattered thunderstorms. We show you these radar simulations that the computer models produce not to tell you exactly what's going to happen at every point along the way, but to give you a sense of the overall pattern. So there are going to be spotty storms out there by midday. The better chance of storms looks like it's going to shape up as the atmosphere heats up. And it will. High temperatures are going to reach the low to mid 90s, and that can kind of pop the lid on the atmosphere, and we'll see more scattered storms developing. Doesn't mean they'll develop exactly where these blobs are showing up on the radar simulation. Everybody's got a good chance of those scattered storms throughout the afternoon into early this evening. And then things kind of quiet down tonight, and it looks like we're really going to settle into a calm weather pattern as we head through the next couple of days. Still a slight chance of some spotty thunderstorms, mainly in southern middle Tennessee tomorrow. This particular computer keeps everything blank in that direction for tomorrow, but I'm going to leave that 30% chance in there just because a little more humidity is going to linger in that part of the mid state. But the lower humidity air is going to be moving into the northern half of the mid-state already tomorrow. It's going to settle in area-wide Friday, a stick around Saturday, and most of Sunday. Very limited storm chance Sunday and Monday. We'll call it a 30% chance for Tuesday, the tail end of the seven-day forecast. Don't get too worried about that. Plenty of heat, but that humidity should be much more tolerable by tomorrow afternoon and through most of the weekend.